University of San Jose Recoletos. When should someone use cardiopulmonary resuscitation? First scenario. Second scenario. Third scenario. Someone can stop breathing or have cardiac arrest from heart attacks, strokes, choking on something that blocks the entire airway, near drowning incidents, a very bad neck, head, or back injury, severe electric shocks, too much bleeding, being very sick from a serious infection, severe allergic reaction, swallowing a drug or chemical. First scenario, no pulse, no breathing. Step 1, survey the scene. The scene is safe. Step 2, check the patient. Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? The patient is unresponsive. Step 3, check the A, B, C. Airway, breathing. Circulation. No pulse, no breathing. Step 4. Appoint someone. Call for an ambulance and get the AED. Perform CPR. 30 compressions, 2 ventilations, 5 cycles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Two ventilations. Up to 5 cycles until the patient recovers. Step 6. Check the ABC again with pulse and with breathing. Step 
7. Recovery Position Be calm until the rescue arrives. Second Scenario With pools, no breathing. Step 1. Survey the scene. The scene is safe. Step 2. Check the patient. Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? The patient is unresponsive. Step 3. Check the ABC. Airway. Breathing. Circulation. With pulse, no breathing. Step 4. Appoint someone. Call for an ambulance immediately. Step 5. Rescue breathing. Rescue breathing for 24 cycles. Last cycle. Step 6. Check the CBA. Circulation. Breathing. Airway. With pulse and with breathing. Step 7. Recovery position of the victim. Third scenario, severe vehicular accident. Step 1. Survey the scene. The scene is unsafe. Step 2. Perform the three R's. Retreat. Radio. Reevaluate. Step 3. Call for rescue. Tell the rescuer about the victim involved and the whole situation.